There is no specific order for the threading. When threading each thread, please follow the color markings. Raise the presser foot. To open the looper cover, press to the right the indent provided with your right thumb and tilt the cover toward you. Plug the foot controller into the machine socket. Plug the foot controller into the power supply socket. Turn on the power switch. The light turns on. Thread the machine with the lower looper thread. The red markings are provided on the machine to indicate the path of the lower looper thread. Pull up the threading changeover lever. Turn the hand wheel until you hear a click. Bring the thread up from the spool and lay it from the back to the front into the guide. Bring down the thread you have put on the retractable support rod. Fit it in the thread guide number one until you hear a click. Slip the thread through the groove. Thread the guide. Pull the thread out about 20 to 30 centimeter. Insert the thread about 2 centimeter into the threading hole. Push the air control push button. Thread will then emerge from the lower looper hole. Place the thread underneath the presser foot. Thread the machine with the upper looper thread. The upper looper thread follows the path marked in purple. The upper looper thread is run just like the lower looper thread, but by following the purple color thread guides. Bring the thread up from the spool and lay it from the back to the front into the guide. Bring down the thread you have put on the retractable support rod. Fit it in the thread guide number one until you hear a click. Slip the thread through the groove. Thread the guide. Pull the thread out about 20 to 30 centimeter. Insert the thread about 2 centimeter into the threading hole. Push the air control push button. Thread will then emerge from the upper looper hole. Place the thread underneath the presser foot. Pull down the threading changeover lever. After the threading of the upper looper and lower looper are completed, make sure to pull down the threading changeover lever. The looper cover will not close if the threading changeover lever has not been returned to its original position. Close the looper cover after threading the right and left needle. Thread the machine with the right needle thread. The thread path is marked in green. 
turn off the power switch. After pressing the switch, the light will be turned off in a few seconds. Bring the thread up from the spool and lay it from the back to the front into the guide. Bring down the thread you have put on the retractable support rod. Fit it in the thread guide number one until you hear a click. Root the thread in the groove. Put the thread under the thread guide plate. Thread the thread take-up cover. Thread the thread guide of the right-hand side. Thread the needle bar thread guide of the right-hand side. Turn the hand wheel and align the mark to the mark of the front cover. Down the presser foot. Push the positioning lever to the R position. Press the automatic needle threader lever down. Hook the thread into A with both hands. Pull the lever up, then thread through the needle eye. Pull out the thread. Raise the presser foot. Root the thread under the presser foot and draw it out to rear by approximately 10 cm. Thread the machine with the left needle thread. The thread path is marked in beige. Turn off the power switch. Bring the thread up from the spool and lay it from the back to the front into the guide. Bring down the thread you have put on the retractable support rod. Fit it in the thread guide number one until you hear a click. Root the thread in the groove. Put the thread under the thread guide plate. Thread the thread take up cover. Thread the thread guide of the left hand side. Thread the needle bar thread guide of the left hand side. Turn the hand wheel and align the mark to the mark of the front cover. Down the presser foot. Push the positioning lever to the L position. Press the automatic needle threader lever down. Hook the thread into A with both hands. Pull the lever up. Then thread through the needle eye. Pull out the thread. Raise the presser foot. Root the thread under the presser foot and draw it out 
to rear by approximately 10 cm. After the threading is complete, close the looper cover. Clip the waste collector into the opening on the looper cover. It catches the cutoff fabric as you sew, keeping your working area neat and tidy.